All right, ready? Born ready. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Miami Gardens, Florida, here in the Fernandez Family Center for tonight's matchup between the Kaiser Seahawks and the St. Thomas University Bobcats. The Seahawks come in with a record of five and five, one and three in the Sun Conference on a two-game losing streak. The Bobcats at five and four, two and one in the conference, and on a two-game conference winning streak. Now, before we get into the Bobcats, let's talk about the Seahawks. The Seahawks, like we said, one and three in the Sun Conference. Their leading scorers are Donovan Dyson, Antigone, and Antigone Sanabria, both averaging 14.8 points a game. Dyson also shooting 45% from the field, and Sanabria shooting 31% from three so look for Sanabria to take a lot of shots from behind the three-point line today also Midori Long averaging a double-double and also shooting 45 percent from the field so Josh that's a little bit about the Seahawks tell us about the Bobcats and their recent success well we're, get, we're gonna get to watch our Bobcats tonight and they are on a two-game winning streak in the conference so they're definitely in stride when they're facing their regular opponents they're also doing a really good job of defending the home court this year. They are 4-0 at home on the season. Now, we're going to be getting to see their stars tonight, Samara Augusti and Ebony Griffin in action tonight. Augusti averaging almost 15 points per game. She is the leading scorer. She is the driving force for the Bobcats offense. Now, we're also going to get Ebony Griffin. She's had a tremendous last couple of games herself. She's averaging 13 points a game and 8 rebounds. She's had two double-doubles back-to-back nights. She's really helping the Bobcats out on both sides of the floor. And we're going to get to see a really good game here tonight. That is true. And I also think we have one injured Bobcat. I'm not sure who it is, but I think it is number one, Dynasty Carter. I think she hurt her ankle last game, so we might not be able to see her tonight. But we do have Maria Iglesias coming out for the first time, was on the injured reserve list. So far, every game this season. And like Josh said, uh, Ebony Griffin's been on a hot streak. Samara's been on a hot streak. And one thing that I saw last game that we've actually been seeing throughout the home games this season is very aggressive defense. And for the first time, I felt like we saw great chemistry between the returners and also the transfers. I don't know if you saw the same thing. I would definitely agree with the chemistry. It's definitely showing out now as we're getting towards the middle of the season. You start to see all those connections going on. The practice is definitely starting to help each other out. They're finding each other. They're getting more confidence with each other, switching on defense and such. We're getting to see a lot better of a team than what we saw early on in the season, so it's, it's a good sign for us. And we asked Samara about that, and Samara attributed that to the practices, actually, and Coach Walker and how Coach Walker always talks about consistency in practice and carrying that over into the game. So hopefully we'll see that again tonight. The Bobcats taking on Kaiser here in Miami Gardens, Florida. Coming up next.
Hello, ladies and gentlemen, as we are live now here from the Fernandez Center to bring you the St. Thomas University Bobcats versus the Kaiser University Seahawks, as this is a Sun Conference matchup. Huge game for both teams. So far, Kaiser, Uni Kaiser University is sitting at an overall 500 record, as they are currently 5-5, five and five, but two games below 500, as they are 1-3 in the Sun Conference. But the Bobcats, on the other hand, as they've won two games in a row in the conference, they're standing at 2-1. and one. Jader Knight not going to be able to win the, that tip off there. And a nice finish by number 24, Sanabria. She goes straight to Merritt. Let's give it to Brooks. Such a great ball fa facilitator she is. She's always, always getting everybody involved for this team. Ebony Griffin gives it to Gusty. Gusty looking to finish in the paint, but she's not going to be able to do so. Rebound by Saunders. Two-on-one situation as they're on a fast break now. Sanabria trying to finish once again at the rim, but she's not going to be able to do so. Brooks now with the ball. Bobcats on a fast break. Both teams with very fast pace today so far. And Brooks is going to finish at the rim. Really love that the Bobcats started off. And this game starting off with a bang. Emily Brown though, not able to really see what they were doing there. As they faked that, as they were gonna try to finish in the paint, but instead they take the long mid-range. As that was long, as she gets herself going with her first two points of the game. Look at, looking to give it a night. Two games ago, Knight had a very hard time at finishing at the paint. Look at that, she finished once again in the paint. But like I was saying, two games ago, she was having a very hard time. But last game here in the Fernandez Center, she finished it really at the pan. She was just attacking, attacking, and attacking. Usually known for her catching and shooting, but she did make the adjustment to start becoming a relentless scorer and a relentless finisher. And she has made those adjustments, which has really benefited this team. And she is really the firecracker and gets always everybody pumped up. Roughly going to call a, call, uh, a foul here. Or a stoppage in time. So far, for your Bobcats, our leading scorer has been Samara Augusti. She's averaging 14 points a game. And, and Ebony Griffin has been so magnificent that she has been averaging 13 points a game and 8.4 rebounds. She creates so much space in that paint. And when she is in the game, she is such a threat to the other team, defensively and offensively. Most of the time, when you see a, when you see a player get fouled on a shot, they most of the time won't even finish. But for for Ebony though, she is leading this team in and ones. Brooks now gives it a night, looking to give it back out now to Augusti. Brooks now with the ball. Bobcats looking to make a play, but very good defense by the Seahawks. 
She's going to miss that rebound. With that shot. Sanabia grabs the rebound as they give it on number five, Dyson. Dyson looking to finish in the paint. Not going to be able to do so. As Ebony Griffin gets the rebound. Augusti with the ball. Nice crossover move. Looking to finish in the paint. Able to get by them, but not able to finish it off. Rodriguez here with the ball. She is slowing it down. Trying to maybe do a reset as they shoot the three. She splashes it from way downtown. Dyson with the finish. Getting herself going with her first three points of the game. Gusty here with the ball. Brooks gives it a night. Not looking to attack the paint, but instead they give it to Gusty for the three. Not going to be able to answer right back, though. Sanabria grabs the rebounds. They give it to Rodriguez, though. But now back out to Sanabria. Tyson here with the ball. She's in the post against Knight. She's going to miss that rebound, but Knight gets the rebound, though. Gusty here with the ball. She's going to be open for three, but she's not going to take it. Instead, gives it to Brooks. Brooks putting on the dribble moves, but looking to reset here as they give it back on out to Augusti. And looking to attack the paint. They leave Griffin open, though. But instead, going to be caught a charge. Back to the Seahawks ball. Bobcats are going to have to do a much better job of getting Augusti open for three. And she has been on fire from the three-point line so far in this season. One thing that really does stand out about Augusti is that she is not that much of a ball-dominant player. And she is a point guard. Most of the time, point guards are going to be the ones with the ball in their hands. But she has no problem sharing that ball with Brooks. And it is always her and Brooks either being the ones to run it up the court for the Bobcats. And that is to be called a foul on merit. Signing number 32, Nikki Saunders to the free throw line. Nikki Saunders looking if she could get herself going. She could make this first free throw here. And she's going to be able to do so. Azira currently up now 8 4 in this game. Podcast so far from the field shooting 33%, while the Seahawks, on the other hand, are shooting 40, 42%. Bobcastle not able to get the rebounds. They grab an offensive rebound. CX now with the balls. They give it to Dyson. Back on to Sanabria. Saunders though with the ball now. Really liking how the Bobcats are playing defense. They're playing much more aggressive. And a nice recovery there by Mary. Gusty now with the ball. Move looking to attack the paint as they give it to Ebony, but now they give it to Mary. She seems to have gone foul there though from behind, but no call there. But Mary's able to finish in the paint. Great vision there by Ebony. Oh, and that seems to be all ball there. Augusti not seeming to be pleased with the call as that is going to be called a foul on Augusti. Sanabria going to be the one to pass it in here for the Seahawks. And she sends Griffin to the ground, but no call there. Long possibly have gone gone away there with the foul. Could have been a could have been a turnover on the Seahawks. But Griffin heavily contests that layup. But it's be caught a a turnover though on Griffin back to the Seahawks ball. Bobcats off to a very slow start so far. Going to be a timeout caught here. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be back. In Miami, we play 365 days a year. We play 365 days a year. 
In Miami, we play three. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and what a nice finish by Dysing. She gets her fifth bucket of the game. She has been the leading scorer so far for the CX today. Augusti here with the ball now. Falcons need to do a much better job of getting Ebony more involved in this game as they give it to Merritt, but Merritt finishes in the paint. Merritt didn't get that much playing time, though. Last home game in that conference matchup, but now getting some spotlight as she is showing a good performance so far. She has four points out of the eight for the Bobcats in this game so far. She's gonna shoot that three, not gonna be able to make it. And Ebony grabs a rebound. As they give it to Augusti now. Augusti with a nice dribble move there as they kick it back on out tonight. Knight gives it to Ebony. Ebony trying to finish at the rim and set passes it out to Augusti. Augusti takes a shot, not gonna be able to make it though. Sanabria grabs the rebounds they're giving out though to Rodriguez. So far, both teams with just one turnover. As they just seem to be playing much move, very smooth. Rodriguez here with the ball, looking to get a screen, but instead of Isozan, gives it to Sanabria. She just zoomed by her. Not going to be able to finish at the rim, though, as Augusti grabs a rebound. Bobcats now on a fast break. But Augusti slows things down, waiting for everybody waiting for everybody to get back in this game. And on the other side of the court, they dish it out now to Merritt. Ebony, she seems to have cut there, but instead goes out to the three-point line. Brooks here with the ball to kick it back out tonight. Knight looking to finish at the paint. And she's going to be able to do so. What a nice finish there. She was heavily contested on that shot. Knight so far with four points in this game. I really love so far how everybody is getting involved offensively for this Bobcats team as they tie this game 10-10. And she's going to take the deep three. And she splashes it from way downtown. Is that what Sanabria she gets? Her fifth bucket of the game as she is shooting two for five now from the field. Augusti here with the ball. With a nice sham got move there. And Knight gets called for the charge and she is not happy with that call. And she shows her frustration. Both teams looking to make some substitutions. That's number 24 for the Bobcats. Samaria August coming in for Jada Knight. And Sanabria coming out for the Seahawks. And number 12 as well, Long. Very, very surprising for me that the Seahawks did take Sanabria out so quickly in this game. Probably trying to get her to get some more rest so she could be ready for later on in this game. This is looking like it's going to be a tight game. And Ebony gets caught for the father on that jump shot. As Donovan Dyson is going to be taking her trip to the free throw line now. As she also has five points. And she's going to miss that first free throw. One thing I'm not liking so far is that the Bobcats haven't done a good job at drawing fouls. So far the Bobcats have zero trips to the free throw line in this first quarter. But I will give credit where credit is due as the Seahawks are playing very good defense so far in this game. Augusti not going to be able to take that three though. She gets contested right away. Instead they dish it back out. August now gives it to Ebony. Does they give it to Mary now? Augusti here with the ball looking to take it to the rim. 
and she's not gonna be able to finish. But Ebony gets the rebound and she gets fouled. Bobcats finally gonna be able to get that first trip to the free throw line, which has been much needed. And she's not gonna be able to make that first free throw. Griffin so far quietly in this game, surprisingly, as she just has zero points. And she gets her first bucket of the game. As they look to pass it into Rodriguez now. Back out to Dyson. To McCauley now. She gets trapped there in that corner. And the Bobcats still not going to be able to recover the ball as the Seahawks look to have gone away with that call there. McCauley gives it out to Dyson. Dyson looking to put on some dribble moves. Instead of calling for a nice one, set up a screen. As Brooks gets called for the foul there. Seahawks so far doing a very good job drawing fouls. As they've taken a couple tricks to the free throw line. And this is going to be their third. And she is going to be able to get that first one going. As they increase their lead to 15-11. With just a minute and 43 left in the first quarter. And she's going to get the second one to go in as well. Brooks is going to give it out to Augusti. Back out to Brooks though. Bobcats so far with just one substitution in this first quarter. Gussie left open for three, but she's not going to be able to take it, though. She looks to just pass it instead. That's to give it back on not to Brooks, though. So far, the Seahawks have been playing very great defense, and Gussie's going to be able to take that three. Not going to be able to make it, but Griffin gets the rebound. August are going to be the one to pass it in here for the Bobcats as they give it back on to Augusti. Augusti really the one that gets everybody going in this team. And August not going to be able to make that three. As Saunders gets the rebound, but now they give it to Rodriguez. Both teams playing at a very slow pace so far. One thing the Bobcats did at the beginning of the season was always attack with a very fast pace in the first quarter, but always then slow things down. But now the Bobcats throughout the season have been playing at a very slow pace, which has worked for them though. And Augusti with the step back three, and she splashes it, getting herself going with her. First three points of the game, and she is now one for seven, and she is off to a cold start. But that three could possibly get herself hot. And Mary gets called for the foul. That is going to be her second personal foul in just the first quarter. Seahawks looking to make a substitution. As Long is going to be coming back in this game. And Sanabria. Sanabria so far averaging 14 points a game in the season. And she is shooting from a Fairly decent, 31% from three. Found the Bobcats, they're gonna be taking a different approach with Sanabria, they're gonna be forcing her to take much more outside shots. Even though she is above that 30% margin, doesn't mean she's a great three-point shooter, so I'm gonna be forcing her to go there. Just by looking at that stat, she seems to be ta attacking the paint a lot. As they're giving out to August. Back out to Brooks. Push with a nice dribble move there as they leave August open for three in the corner. And she is going to make it from the corner. And what a magnificent way to end the first quarter. Bobcats decrease the lead now just down to one as they look to make a comeback on the Seahawks. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be back.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Bobcats were able to decrease that lead just down to one as August didn't make that corner three as they get back out onto August. Augusty here with the ball now. She was calling for August to come over. Ebony trying to finish in the paint, but she gets stripped of the ball. Very good defense there by the Seahawks. As it was Sanabria that was able to recover it. So giving out to Dyson. Dyson here with the ball. Looking at her options, trying to create a play, trying to get somebody open. And she gets a screen by Sanabria. But Augusti heavily contesting her. But Sanabria could be able to finish. And she finished that one over Griffin. Brooks now here with the ball. Augusti's going to shoot the three. Not going to be able to get that one to go in. So far, both teams with an equivalent style of place. And Griffin going to be able to get in front of her with a very nice steal there. 2-1-2 two -two situation. Augusti going to slow everything down, though. She is trying to get everybody back on the other side of the court. As they kick it out to August. August back out to Brooks. Brooks with a nice dribble move there. Not going to be able to finish the rebound, the, the shot, though. But Gianni as well. And she did get that offensive rebound. But she was not going to be able to finish that one. Put it back up. Very good to see Gianni back in this game. And she is a huge presence for this team defensively and offensively. Bobcats with another steal. Two on one situation. Augusti trying to finish at the rim, but she seems to have, sli have slipped there on that layup. As they leave Dyson open, but Dyson makes the end one. She's going to take a trip now to the free throw line. Bobcats really trying to get themselves going as they show lots of signs of inconsistency. As for some instances, they will be playing at a fast pace. And I've noticed that when they've been doing that, they've been knocking down threes. But this slow pace so far hasn't been working for them. As the Bobcats are just shooting 36% from the field. August here with a step back three and she gets blocked by Dyson. Dyson showing off that wingspan. Gusty here with the ball. As they have been heavily contesting Augusti so far in this game. She grabs the offensive rebound though. She looks to kick it back out there. Gives it to Dumont and Dumont also gets blocked. Griffin though able to recover. Augusti open for three in the corner and she splashes it. Bobcats now just down by three. Rodriguez now here with the ball. Bobcats looking to make a substitution in our next break. Saunders kicks it out of Dyson. She is open for three, and she answers right back. Getting that lead back up to six now. So far, Gusty, even though she's off to a cold start, without her, this, Bob, this Bobcast team will probably be down by way much more. She has been our leading scorer so far for this season. And for today, she has six points in this game. Bobcats making a substitution as Ebony Griffin is coming out of this game for number zero, Dozier. Dozier now with the ball. She gives it out of Brooks. There's just 10 seconds left here on the shot clock. Augusti going to be left open for three. Looking to take it to the paint instead. And she gets fouled on the shot. And she is going to be taking a trip to the free throw line. As Nikki Saunders does get caught for the foul. I like this adjustment that the Bobcats have made so far in this second quarter as they've been attacking the paint way much more than just taking out outside shots. And she's going to miss that first free throw. So far, Bobcat shooting one for three from the free throw line. While on the other hand, the Seahawks are shooting seven for nine from the free throw line. 
Nikki Saunders is going to be coming out of this game. She is in early foul trouble. Dusty going to be able to make that second one, though. Rodriguez now here with the ball. Fernandez Setter getting packed, showing that love for this Bobcat team. Sanabria with a very nice leaping recovery there. So they're able to give it to Rodriguez to, to reset this play. And they're going to leave Rodriguez open for three, but she's not going to take it. And Seth gives it a cutting. Sanabria. Sanabria is going to finish out the paint as she gets her seventh bucket of the game. Two players at the Bobcats need to do a much better guard job at guarding. It will be Donovan Dyson and Sanabria. As Doja now kicks it back out to Augusti. Augusti getting heavily contested. Almost loses the ball, but able to recover. As they give it to Doja, open for the three. As she overshoots that one just a bit. Dyson gets the rebound. Kicks it back out now to Maeddy. Kelly now here with the ball. Getting trapped, but they leave. Rodriguez open for three. Nothing but net. And she splashes it. Ladies and gentlemen, Bobcats call a timeout as they get the biggest lead of their game. The Seahawks are now up nine. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be back. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back as Kaiser University has her biggest lead of the game up 30 to 21 as they're going to leave Doja open for three as she overshoots that one once again. August able to put a stop to that fast break as they give it out to Sanabria. Sanabria trying to finish out the paint, but Duman heavily contests her. Could it be called a foul though, though now on the Seahawks? Gusty, quick to get back up. Bobcats really need to get themselves going as they're not doing so well from the offensive side. As they're shooting just 32%. Dumont gets the offensive rebound and she's gonna be able to finish it at the paint. Getting herself going with her first two buckets of the game. Tyson now here with the ball. Has it given out to Sanabria. Tyson trying to cut to the paint with the fadeaway shot, but she's not going to be able to make it as Dozier grabs the rebound back on out to Brooks. Gussie here with the ball. Dozier's going to be left open for three once again in the corner. She was looking to get called there for a shooting foul, but Seahawks looks to have gone away with the call. As it is going to be Felix, the one to be passing it in for the Seahawks. As that one is tipped away from, from Brooks.
so far in that, bo in that first half, Bobcats were able to score with ease in that paint. And at the end, were able to finish more three-point shots, especially getting people, people more open in that first quarter. But now the Bobcats are struggling to do both. And Sanabria not going to be able to finish again once again at the paint. And I am loving the defense by Dumont so far. As that was a great substitution made by our coach. And she is providing a spark off the bench. I'm looking to get a screen by her. Augusti now with the ball. Kicks it now to Dumont. But Dumont not going to be able to recover it. Stozier with the ball. Not going to be able to finish. As that was a rebound by Sanabria. Rodriguez now with the ball. Rodriguez so far with three points in the game as she is shooting one for two from the field. And with already two assists in this game. And they're going to leave her open for three. Not going to be able to make that as that was Rodriguez with the miss. Bobcats now on a fast break. Slow, thing that, slow things down though once again. And they leave du as they leave Dumont open in the paint, she's going to be able to finish it. And I love that point guard vision by Augusti. With such an excellent pass by her. As Dumana, she is always such a great spark off the bench. Every game she comes in. Samaria so with a very nice finish at the paint as she was double teamed. Scoring that with ease. And Augusti gets fouled on the layup, but she's going to be taking a trip to the free throw line, trying to get herself going, and she just has now seven points in this game. going to be a rebound here by Augusti. Augusti turning on the Jets. Augusti not going to kick it out to the three-point line. She's just going to take it herself, and she finishes that one at the rim. Dyson looking to take it in, but instead takes the fadeaway. She gets that one to go in, and she records her 15th bucket of the game. She has been the biggest threat to the Bobcats today, as she has 15 points. Just in the first half. And 15 out of the 34 for the Seahawks. Is they're going to leave Augusti open for three in the corner. But she overshoots it. Dyson with a nice behind the back move. Looking like they're going to reset it though here. Where's Rodriguez? So Rodriguez has really been the one getting everybody going for the Seahawks team. And she's going to finish it at the paint. Playing iso ball right there. Bobcats still now on a fast break. As Brooks makes her defender look lost. But she's not going to be able to finish it there. Two on two situation. But a very nice steal by Augusti. Three on two fast break. You're a move. August though able to recover. Bobcats trying to finish this first half off strong. With a nice step back mid-range there by Augusti. And she has made great improvements here in this second quarter compared to the first. And she has 10 points. And she is not going to be able to finish though that layup. Bobcats ends off this second half on a very strong no. As they are now just down six. So far, Bobcats shooting 34% from the field. 
while the Seahawks, though, on the other hand, are shooting 48%. Bobcats down 36-30. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, we will be back. Stay tuned.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Bobcats looking to make a comeback here in this second half as they did decrease that lead just down to six. But Dyson though finishes it at the rim. Right over Griffin. Brooks now though here with the ball. As they get back out now to Augusti. And Jada Knight now back in this game. As they're gonna leave Augusti open for three. Nice shot there though. Just a little bit light on that shot. As Dyson has the ball now. And she has 15 points in this game. Well my, my mistake is that was Rodriguez. And Kelly finishes that one at the rim. And she gets her first two points of this game, getting herself going, getting this lead now back up to double digits by 10. Gussie with a nice behind the back move there, but she loses it. Mayer gets blocked by Kelly. As they kick it back, back on out to Brooks as he looks to reset. Giving it to Knight. Knight trying to finish at the rim, and what she does. I really love how Knight, I really like how Knight was there. She, as soon as she made that shot, she was just looking straight into Dyson. Dyson so far has been the leading scorer for the Seahawks. She has 15 points in this game. As it is looking like Knight is gonna be the one to try to put a stop to that. Augustine now here at the free throw line. She has 12 points in this game. She was off to a cold start in this in the first quarter, but now in the second, she made a very nice adjustment. Trying to do the same thing here in this third. So far, both teams Bobcats shooting three for six from the free throw line, while the Seahawks, on the other hand, are shooting seven for nine. Both teams not doing a well job at drawing fouls in this game. Dyson out here with the ball with Brooks guarding her. Dyson makes a long pass, but Jada Knight able to recover it. Augusti now here with the ball. Bobcats trying to make a play as they look at their options. Give it to Brooks now. Brooks with a nice dribble move there. Not going to be able to finish it, though. As Griffin gets the rebound. Referee, though, calling a jump ball. It's going to be Bobcat's ball once again. Gussie going to be the one to pass it in. Really love the aggressiveness there by Ebony Griffin. Bobcat's doing whatever it takes to come back in this game. As they know, this is a Sun Conference matchup. As what I do say for these games is they are always a must win. Gussie shoots a three from the corner. Not going to be able to make that shot. And Rodriguez is going to be attacking the paint, but now gives it back out now to Dyson. Dyson, as that shot rolls in and out, but Sanabria with a very nice offensive rebound, going to be able to finish it down at the paint. Brooks here with the ball, attacking the paint as well as they give it back out now to Augusti. Augusti here looking to ISO it. Augusti does a nice no look pass to Merritt. Griffin attacking the paint, and she gets fouled, and she's going to be taking a trip now to the free throw line. Bobcats down eight. Really trying to make a comeback. So far, not their prettiest game. But I really do like the fact that they're still staying in, not giving up defensively or offensively. And Griffin gets the first one to go in. Seahawks looking to make some substitutions here. As number 21, Felix is coming in for number 32, Nikki Saunders. Ebony Griffin, let's see if she can make this second free throw here. And which she does. She now has three points in this game and seven rebounds. I see it's such a great glass cleaner, and she records the steal. Bobcats now on a fast break, looking to see what they could do here. She's going to be left open for the mid-range. Augusti, though, not going to be able to finish. Nice rebound there by Sanabria. Dyson, 
shooting it with two people on her. She gets that one to go in as she records her 17th bucket of the game. Bobcats back down out to eight. Gusty here with the ball. Gives it back on out to Brooks. Brooks trying to finish at the paint. Not going to be able to do so though. But Griffin gets the offensive rebound. As they kick it back on out to Brooks. Brooks gives it to Ebony Griffin. Griffin going to be able to finish at the paint with ease. And Augusti gets the steal. On the inbound pass. But not going to be able to finish it though. Dyson with the miss as Jade and I does a great job contesting here after getting screened, after getting caught on that screen. Jade and I, Jade and I attacking at the paint, no call there. Knight doesn't seem to be pleased with the referee right now. That's Felix now. Is it a McCauley? To kick it back out now to Rodriguez. Rodriguez does a pump fake though, doesn't take the three. Instead, instead gives it to Felix. Well, my mistake, as that was Dyson. Sanabria with the shot. And she finishes at the rim. Sanabria so far with seven points in this game. She is averaging 14 points a game in the season. And Augusti gets fouled while attacking the rim. And she's gonna be taking a trip now to the free throw line. Gusty doing a really good job at getting fouled. Well, at drawing fouls so far in this game, especially while attacking the paint. Gusty so far shooting four for six from the free throw line. She's gonna miss that first free throw. Bobcats looking to make a substitution here as August is coming in for number 10, Brooks. And she's going to make the second free throw. As they pass it in now to Rodriguez. Rodriguez now gives it to Dyson. Bobcats really need to find a way of putting a stop to Dyson because she has been the biggest threat to the Bobcats offensively. The main way Dyson has been scoring the ball though has been on the fadeaway, which has been really seeming impossible to guard. And she is making it seem look easy. Sanabria though the, gets fouled on the post. Ebony Griffin gets called for the foul there. As they make a substitution now, the Seahawks, as Rodriguez is coming out. For number 32, Nikki Saunders. She gets fouled. She's gonna be taking a trip now to the free throw line. Bobcats doing whatever it takes to really decrease this lead, but it's not working in their favor so far, especially in this third quarter. So the Bobcats have two fouls in this quarter, while the Seahawks only just have three now. And she makes the first one. Bobcat's going to be making a substitution as Merritt is coming out for Gianni Dumont. Bobcat so, so far shooting 32% from the field. While the CX are shooting a magnificent 52%. Bobcat's just not shooting the ball very well, especially from the three-point line as well as they're just shooting 21% from it. While the Seahawks, on the other hand, are shooting 75%. Dykes now trying to make this second free throw. Let's see if she's going to be able to do so. And when she does, she gets her second bucket of the game. Gussie passes it into August, but August back on out to Augusty. Augusty has had a very hard time finishing at the paint today as the Seahawks have done a very good job at guarding that. And Ebony Griffin does a little bit of an overpass there. 
that we caught a turnover. Back to the Seahawks ball. Seahawks have 48-39 as they have one of the biggest seeds of the game as they're up nine. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be back after this break. Envision your future. What does your future look like? At St. Thomas University, we help you discover your strengths and fuel your passions with a cutting edge education. STU offers innovative programs to thrive in future professions. At St. Thomas, you learn locally to succeed globally with generous scholarships. Here you'll find an exceptional private education at an affordable cost. No matter where you want to go in life, you can get there from here. Envision your future. What does your Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. As Dyson out here with the ball, she has 17 points in this game, as she has been magnificent for the Seahawks. As they give it to Kelly. Dyson now. Is it a Kelly gun? Dyson out here with the ball. Kelly attacking the paint, but instead they give it to number 21, Felix. But she's not going to be able to finish off that three. Augusti now here with the ball, as that was August that did grab the rebound. Falcons need to do a much better job of getting more of them open. Ebony gives it a saw. August. One thing I've noticed that the Falcons have been doing today is not been taking as many threes as they usually do as they've been looking to pass per since said with that mentality and it has not been working so far. Even though the Falcons do have more shots than the Seahawks. They have also let, let go of many open shots. Which has possibly been the main reason why they have been off to this very cold start so far. Is they're trying to get in a groove. Augusti makes the first free throw. Bobcat shooting 8 for 12 from the free throw line. While the Seahawks are shooting 9 for 11. And she is going to make the second free throw. Augusti shooting 7 for 10 from the free throw line today. Felix now with the ball. And one thing the Bobcats need to do is uh, starting to attack the paint way much more. Because that is what, what has been really trying to, which is what really has been getting the points. As that has been working for Augusti, Augusti has been noticing that she has been not so well at finishing off these layups or her shots. So instead she took the, just attacking the paint more and what she has done, which has led to much more free throws. Well, many more. And Griffin gets caught for the travel there and there's gonna be a turnover on the Bobcats as they have five turnovers so far in this game while the Seahawks have seven. Well, my mistake, does it be their sixth turnover of the game? Feel is gonna be the one pass it in. As they give it on to Kelly. Kelly going to attack the paint. And Knight grabs the rebound. Bobcats now on a fast break. Three on two situation. She's attacking the rim. Finishes it with ease. Knight so far with eight points in this game. Only one Bobcat has scored in the double digit margin. That is, as it has only been Augusti. Dyson takes the mid-range and where she makes it again. She gets her 19th bucket of the game. Brooks now here with the ball. 
Ebony Griffin now here with the ball. Looking to kick it out to Augusti. Augusti takes the three. Not going to be able to finish it, though. As they give it to Dyson, which Dyson has been carrying this team today. A, lo a long and long. Kelly kicks it back out now to Dyson. Sanabria here with the ball now. She is in the post. She falls for the screen and she takes the mid range. Not going to be able to make it. Ebony Griffin gets caught on a foul though there. Seems to be a over and back though. Seahawks getting away with lots of calls here so far in this game. Bobcats looking to make a substitution as number 10. Kiana Brooks is coming in this game. Right after this free throw. It just seems to be whenever this Bobcats team is decreasing that lead, the Seahawks just go on a run. Bobcats so far throughout this whole game have had a very hard time at committing fouls. Well, my mistake is drawing fouls and even coming back in this game. And Dumont does get the rebound. She fights her way out of that. But it's going to be back to the Seahawks ball. So that is going to be another turnover on the Bobcats as they record their seventh of the game. As they give it on to Dyson. Dyson with a nice spin move there. Not going to be able to finish. But Samaria gets the offensive rebound. As she is in the post now. Kick it back out now to Dykes. Dykes trying to finish at the rim. And what she does. Dykes records her fourth bucket of the game. Bobcats down nine. Trying to make a comeback. Not seeming to work out though so far. The best quarter of the game has been the second. And Ebony Griffin with a nice move there. She finishes it at the rim. Griffin gets her seventh bucket of the game. Loving the defense by Duman. Really trying to heavily co contest Dykes. A little bit of an overpass there. Seems to have been tipped though by a Bobcat defender. Very nice awareness by Kelly. This is going to be Felix passing it in. She's going to attack the paint. And she gets that shot to go in. She makes it off the backboard. Cook's not here with the ball. As they give it a nine night though. Seems to have been setting up for a catch and shoot three. But she was not going to be able to do so. Because she did not recover it on time. And August misses the three. Bobcats so far are shooting three for 15 from the three-point line. Well, the Seahawks have just shot four threes in this game so far. Dumont had her hands up, but they do call a foul, though. Going to be sending Sanabria to the free-throw line. Very confused her on that call, but she did because she did have her hands up. I'm not sure what the referee was looking at there. Sanabria misses the first free throw. Would this make the Bobcats could be down now by double digits? In which they are. Bobcats now just down 10. Bobcats are undefeated. At the Fernandez Center this year, here at home. As they really are trying to do their best to come back in this game. Willing to do whatever it takes. Brooks now here with the ball. Giving it back out to Jada Knight. Jada Knight calling for a play. Checking out her options. Seeing what she could do here. As they're going to give it to August for three. And she splashes it from way downtown. August getting herself going. With her first three of the game. Well, my mistake, her second. Bobcats almost forcing a turnover there. As they are now just down seven. Trying to end this third quarter off on a nice note. And she's going to attack the paint. Not going to be able to finish. 
And a very nice recovery though there by the Bobcats. Ebony Griffin able to get back up on her feet. Not hurt at all. Bobcats down 48-55. Really trying to make a comeback in this Sun Conference matchup against the Seahawks. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be back. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Bobcats trying to make a comeback here in this fourth quarter as they are just down, down on seven. Jada and I now with the ball as they give it out of Brooks for three. And she gets that one to go in. Bobcats now just down four. And the Bobcats record the steal. Now on a fast break, as they give it a night, open in the paint, as they are now just down two. Bobcats get the lead now, just down to two. Sanabria though, able to finish at the rim with ease as she answers right back. Silencing this friend and the center crowd. And this is what these women live for, what these athletes live for. And she gets blocked at the rim by Sanabria. Seahawks looking to make a substitution here. As Dykes and Felix are coming out of this game. Rodriguez looking to find her way back in this game now. She has seven points for the Seahawks today. Dyson out with the ball as they look to give it to her. She is going to be the one to close it out for the Seahawks. It's going to be called a foul though there on number 34, Kelly. Back to the Bobcats ball. Bobcats really trying to make a comeback in this one. Augusti looking to ISO against Rodriguez. As they get back on out to Brooks. Brooks with a nice jumble move. They can leave Augusti open for three, but she does not take it. Instead gives it to Dumont. Now back out to Knight. Knight with the pump fake. Gives it to Brooks in the corner. Brooks putting on some jumble moves here. And she is a dribble god. Augusti going to be attacking the paint. Not going to be able to finish. Knight gets the offensive rebound and she finishes it. And she is pumped. Really love this aggressiveness by Knight as she is going after their best player, Dyson. I really love this defensive approach that the Bobcats have in this quarter. What a great improvement and adjustment that they have made coming into the fourth, knowing that they have been undefeated at home and they're really not trying to catch their first loss of the season here in the Fernandez Center. Crowd is packed and everybody is on their feet. 
Dyson here with the shot, but she is not going to be able to make it. Rodriguez going to be able to take the shot. She was forced there, but Bobcats with great defense as they force the Seahawks to not, get, not even to be able to get a shot off in time. Bobcats got either take the lead or tie here. Nine now with the ball with a nice crossover move. And she gets fouled. And she's going to be taking a trip now to the free throw line. Bobcats could tie the game here. And she makes her first free throw. She's not going to be able to make that second free throw, though, as they are now just down one. She had 20 seconds left here now on the shot clock as they kick it back out now to Sanabria. Now back out to Rodriguez. Looking to give it along. But they leave Dyson open for the mid-range, and she makes it. Looking, looking like it's going to be a nail-biter down to the end of this game. As they give it to Augusti. Augusti takes a deep three. Not going to be able to finish, though. Dumont really tried to get the offensive rebound there. She did have two defenders on her. But she was not going to be able to do so. Back to the Seahawks ball. Bobcats looking to make a substitution as Ebony Griffin is finding a way back in this game. Coming out, Gianni Dumont. Jada Knight overruns it there. Four and five situation. And she finishes that layup with ease. That was Sanabria. Good vision there by Dyke. Oh, my mistake by Dyson. Seems to have blocked it there, but instead of calling a jump ball. Back to the Seahawks ball. And this has been a huge problem throughout this whole game. As soon as the Bobcats were finding a way back in this game, the Seahawks were able to answer right back, right away. Nice moves there by Dyson. And she has Knight heavily contesting her. As they give it back out now to Sanabria. Sanabria kids in now. To number 34, Kelly. And a very nice finish there. Gussie so far with 17 points in this game. She is shooting 7 for 10 from the free throw line. She makes her first free throw. She gets her intake bucket of the game. Look at me, a substitution here for the Seahawks. As number 21, Felix is coming in for number 4, Rodriguez. And Augusti gets a second one to go in as well. And she was perfect from the line there. As they're going to leave Kelly open for three. She's not going to be able to finish, though. Bobcats are not able to get the offensive rebound as this is going to be going back to the Seahawks' ball. Bobcats now just down 58 63 with five minutes left and 53 seconds. As they give it out to Dyson, Dyson really has.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. As Brooks now here has the ball. As they kick it out to August. Brooks now here with the ball once again. Giving it to August again. Back out tonight. Knight has really been the MVP of this team so far today. Griffin not going to be able to finish that shot. Back out now to Seahawks ball. Seahawks inbounded to Felix. Felix now running point for the, for the Seahawks. As they almost commit a turnover. Emily Griffin doing a very good job coming back in transition, but not just in time. As Sanabria was able to get that layup to go in. Augusti now here with the ball. Bobcats down 67, 62. Nice step back there. As they give it a Knight. Knight kicks it out on August for three. Not going to be able to make that shot as Sanabria grabs a rebound. Seahawks now on a fast break. Three on two situation. And she finishes it at the rim with ease. Seahawks up 69-62 with three minutes and 44 seconds left in this game. And Augusti gets fouled while attacking the rim. So far, Seahawks with four fouls in this in this quarter, while the Bobcats just has zero. August now gives it to Brooks. Back up to Augusti for three, and she's gonna take that. Not gonna be able to finish though. Back to the Bobcats ball. I love the hustle there by Ebony Griffin. And she forces that turnover. Brooks now gives it back out to Augusti. As they leave August open for three, but she's not going to be taking it back out now tonight. Augusti takes the mid range. Seems to have gone fouled there, but no call. And a very nice recovery by, by Griffin. Knight trying to finish at the rim. Griffin, though, gets the offensive rebound, not able to finish. Griffin, though, well, my mistake is that was Knight. Bobcats dominating from the offensive rebound side there in that possession. Shauna's going to attack the paint, but she gets fouled on the way there. Bobcats do decrease the lead now, just down 69, 64 with two minutes and 37 seconds left here in this last quarter. Seahawks looking to make some substitutions here. As Kelly and number 33, Dykes are coming out of this game. Sanabri almost does commit the turn over there. Very nice recovery by the Seahawks though. So give it to Rodriguez, but Sanabria takes a deep three and she splashes it from way downtown. What a devastating shot that was as they get their lead back up just not to eight. Gussie trying to finish out the rim but not able to do so. But Griffin does get the offensive rebound and does get fouled while trying to put it back up, sending her to the free throw line. Ebony Griffin so far with nine points in this game and she is shooting three for five from the field. She gets that first one to go in. And she gets a second one to go in as well. Ladies and gentlemen, Bobcats down 72 
66 against the Seahawks. In this Sun Conference matchup, ladies and gentlemen, we will be back. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back as Seahawks commit the turnover back to Bobcats ball. Well, my mistake is that it's gonna be Seahawks ball. Look to have been a turnover there. Referee calls it differently. As they give it on Rodriguez, as Rodriguez is back in this game. And she's done a great job today, getting everybody involved and setting up plays. Tyson going to be giving it to Felix, but Sanabria going to be attacking at the paint with a nice reverse layup. Brooks now here with the ball. Back out to August. Brooks now again, once again with the ball, back out to Jada Knight. Jada Knight with a nice spin move there. As she commits a turnover on a missed cue of a pass. Kaiser University really, really looking to extend this lead. It's going to be caught an offensive foul on Sanabria. Ebony Griffin doing a really good job drawing that foul. Bobcats down 66-74 with a minute and 22 left in this, in this game. With this loss, this will be their first loss of the season here at home. Which will get their Sun Conference record at 2-2. Two and we'll get the Seahawks Sun Conference record of two and three. Gussie with a nice behind the back move. And she's gonna bank that one in. Augusti with 21 points in this game. Dyson kicks it out to Sanabria. Sanabria gets fouled. Well, my mistake is that it's actually gonna be called. A travel as Jada Knight is the one that really committed that turnover on the Seahawks. Santa Bria so far with three personal fouls in this game. If that, if that was going to be called a foul, that would have been very, very a bad look on Santa Bria. But Augusti is able to make that three. And the Bobcats decrease the lead just down out to three. Ladies and gentlemen, as this is gonna be a nail biter. Just down three, 74, 71, Sun Conference matchup. Tyson almost commits a turnover. Sana Bria with a deep three. Not gonna be able to get that one to go in. Bobcats down three. They have this last, possibly last opportunity. And Augusti's not gonna be taking that three. Let's see what they do here. As they leave August open for three. And she makes it! Mamma mia! Bobcats die! 10 seconds left! As we call a timeout! August makes the three! 
Ladies and gentlemen, Bobcats with an historic comeback. Five seconds left. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. August was the one that did tie the game, and let me tell you something, she is a freshman. Not that much experience in games like this, but she was able to get that one to go in. Let's see if there's now 10 seconds left now in this game. Tie game here. She'll be looking to pass it in. Five second violation! Ladies and gentlemen, Paul gets a one more chance here to win it here. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be back. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Bobcats could get the game winner here. With five seconds left in the game. As they're gonna be giving it to Augusti. Augusti now with the ball. My mistake, five seconds now left in the game. Augusti takes the three. Not gonna be able to make it. Back to the Bobcats ball. Point three left on the shot clock. Will they be able to get a shot off in time? Brick's gonna be the one to pass it in. And August takes a D3. Not gonna be able to get that one to go in. Ladies and gentlemen, we are heading into overtime. Tie game, 74-74. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be back. What an historic comeback by our Bobcats.
Ladies and gentlemen, a correction here. This is actually going to be left point three in the shot clock in the fourth quarter. Isaiah probably going to be giving it to Dyson for this game winner. Let's see what they're going to do here. Sanabria going to be the one to pass it in. She's not going to be able to handle that pass there. There's not that much time was left anyways. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be back. Tie game. Overtime thriller in the making. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. It'll be Ebony Griffin taking the jump ball here against number 33 Dykes. Well, my mistake against number 32 Nikki Saunders. <coughs> so far, Bobcats shooting 38% from the field and 54% for the Seahawks. Griffin did win that tip off. Put a little bit of a hard touch there. Back to the Seahawks ball. Sanabria gives it to Rodriguez. Back out to Sanabria. If I'm the Seahawks, I'm gonna be feeding the boss most of this game to Sanabria. And, oh, my mistake, as that has not been Sanabria, as it was long. Sanabria now back with the ball. She misses the reverse layup. Let be called a travel on the Seahawks. Back to Bobcats ball, as that was long, that, that does commit the turnover. Long so far with 17 points in this game, as she is shooting 8 for 10 from the field. <coughs> Back out not to Brooks. Let's see what Brooks could do here. Trying to set up a teammate for an open shot. Augusti now back with the balls. They give it back out not to Brooks. Brooks with a nice jump moves. August does not take the threes. They kick it back out not to Augusti. Augusti now going to be attacking the rim. And she is going to get the lead for the Bobcats in overtime. Four minutes left in this game. And a nice jump shot there by Dyson as she answers right back right away as she gets her 25th bucket of the game. Brooks now here with the ball. Kicks it back out onto August. Back out onto Augusti. 
Balkas looking to make a play. And Augusti is gonna finish at the rim once again. Balkas. Balkas now up two in this game. Rodriguez now kicks it out long. Back out to Dyson. Long here looking to attack it at the paint. Not gonna be able to finish. Balkas grab the rebound. On the Balkats, I'm really doing my best to run out this clock. What a comeback this has been for the Bobcats. Ebony Griffin with the ball. And a nice reverse layup. Bobcats now up four. Almost a first turnover there by August. What a great showing August has been today for the Bobcats as she has nine points in this game. Shooting three for seven from both the field and the three-point line. As all of her shots have been threes. Mostly a catch and shooter she is. And she is just a freshman. She doesn't really have that much experience when it comes to games like this. But she is playing like a veteran today. Loving the tenacity by the Bobcats. And not giving up. Long going to be the one passing it in. As it given out of Dyson. Dyson almost loses it but able to recover it. Dyson with a nice behind the back move there. She has August guarding her. Dyson overshoots that layup. As Jada Knight has the ball. As it is going to be back to Bobcat's ball. They're going to be inbounding it to Brooks now. Brooks here with the ball. Looking to get a screen by Augusti. Kicks, kicks it back and out to Jada Knight. Knight with a nice spin move but does commit the turnover. Seahawks now on a fast break. She's going to be taking it on her own. Rodriguez not going to be able to finish as she does get stripped of the ball. Still Seahawks ball though. Seahawks down 76-80 with 2 minutes and 14 left in this game. As they give it to Nikki Saunders, but back on out to Kelly. Dyson out with the ball. 20 seconds left here in the shot clock. Dyson so far with 25 buckets in this game. And she's gonna take the mid range, but not gonna be able to finish it off. As that was number 34, Kelly with the miss. Kelly so far with that, as that being her second shot of the game, shooting over two. Not so good of a game she's had today. Back out to August. Jaden not now with the ball. Gives it to Augusti. Augusti with a nice step back mid range, and she gets it to go in. Bobcats up 82 76 as they take control of this game in overtime. As they give it to Saunders, but back on out to Dyson. Dyson takes a three, and she gets blocked by Jada Knight. Just a minute left in this game. Fernandez center packed, everybody on their feet. Augusti here with the ball, but now gives it back on out to August. Back out to Jada Knight now. And Griffin finishes it at the paint. But Griffin is holding her ankle. Hopefully she is okay.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And Long commits a turnover on the pass. Just 28 seconds left here on the shot clock and 32 seconds left in the game. Agassi putting on very nice dribble moves here. We're gonna put the dagger in the game. And they're gonna leave August open for three. She's not gonna be able to make that one in. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be back after this timeout. Bobcats up 84-76. With just nine seconds left in this game. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. She's gonna take that three, but not gonna be able to make it. Two seconds left, one second left, then Bobcats make this historic comeback. What a win for the Bobcats. And ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere as our men's basketball team now is going to compete in another Sun Conference matchup to bring you St. Thomas University Bobcats versus the Kaiser University Seahawks. What a win this was. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for our next Sun Conference matchup. Thank you.